Hi, boys and girls. How are you? I'm back. And this time I came back with my two dogs, Cooper, right here, and Tucker. And I'm going to give them some treats so they calm down a little bit, and then I'll get some time to talk to you. Hold on. Ready? Cooper. They love the treats. Tucker. Come on. Good boys. Let me see if I could get them to look at you. Cooper. Look. Cooper, Tucker, Cooper, and Tucker. Come on. There you go. I hope they let me talk to you now because they're really getting on my nerves today. They just jump on my couches. They fight with each other. They take each other's toys. Can't stop making it stop. Anyway, how are you? all. I miss you. I wish we could be together, but we still have to stay home so we can stay safe and we can stay healthy. But I thought that maybe while we're together again, we could do a little circle time like we do at Peanuts. Who remembers what we do at circle time? When we come to the carpet and we sit crisscross applesauce and it's my turn to talk and your turn to listen. Do you remember that? Should we have a little circle time? That's Tucker. No, that's Hooper. Hold on a second. Look, Tucker. Look, look, look at the boys and girls at Peanuts. Look, say hi. Look, you want to give me kisses? Show them how you give mommy a kiss. No, not right now. Anyway. Who remembers what we do at circle time? We give out jobs. We give out the weather watcher, the calendar helper, the snack helper, the line leader, the caboose, the lights, right? We do that. Did I say weather watcher? I think I did. Then we do our months of the year, right? And we do the calendar and we read stories and all of that fun stuff. But because we're not together, I'm not gonna be able to give you jobs. But I'm thinking, I hope that you are all doing jobs at home. I hope you're helping mommy do things or daddy do things or maybe your sister or your brother or whatever it is that you're doing. I hope you're choosing to be kind and do nice things for them because we can't be together, so we might as well be with the people that we love and do nice things, right? Right. Anyway, I think that we should start out with the months of the year. Now, normally we would crawl around the classroom like snakes. We would do our jumping jacks for exercise, or we would hop on one foot as we say the months of the year, but I think now we're just going to clap and sing the months of the year. Are you ready? All right, let's start with January. Here we go, boys and girls. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Good job. I think Cooper enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that, Coop? Meanwhile, Tucker is throwing all my pillows off the couch, but we'll just ignore that for now. Anyway, I'm glad we're getting to talk about the months of the year because while we were away from peanuts, guess what happened to our calendar? All the numbers disappeared. That's right, no more numbers. They're all gone. Who remembers what that means? What happens when all the numbers disappear off the calendar? Hmm. Does anybody get it? <gasps> Very good. We get a new month. That's right. We have a new month. But now, I want to ask you a question. Put your thinking caps on. Put them on. Really tight. Who remembers the month that we were in? When we were at Peanuts, we talked about St. Patrick's Day 
and Louis the Leprechaun that was going to come. We were learning about all different colors and mixing colors together, right? We read Little Blue and Little Yellow. And when they came together, they made green, right? We did that. We talked about shapes, triangles, and squares, and circles, and ovals, and hearts, and stars, right? We were in the middle of doing all of that before we had to leave. That was March, but all the numbers are gone. So now we have a new month. And guess what? I just told you what the month was. March, March, March. That's right, we were in March. But now the new month is, hmm, I'll give you a hint. Are we ready? January, February, March. April, the new month is April. That's right, boys and girls, the new month is April. So now it's time to say goodbye to the old one and hello to the new one. So are we ready? Let's sing goodbye to March. Ready? Bye bye March. Bye bye March. Bye bye March. We'll see you again next year. All right, let's say hello to April like we usually do. Hello April. Hello, April. Hello, April. We're glad to have you here. Good job, everybody. Good job. And while we are talking about April, we also got a new season while we've been gone. If you remember, we talked about the fall when all the leaves fall off the trees and they turn all different colors like red and yellow and orange and brown and they got crunchy and we would step on them and daddy would have to rake them up and put them in a bag. We talked about those leaves falling off the trees in the fall. Mm -hmm. And no, there were no purple or blue leaves, whoever just said that. <laughs> Tucker, he loves, <laughs> he loves his mommy. Tucker, I'm talking to the boys and girls at Peanuts. I know you love me, I know, but I have to talk to the kids. We talked about the winter, right? When it's cold and it snows and we wear gloves and we wear hats and we, we, we wear boots, right? And we stuff those coats in our backpacks with our gloves and our mittens and the hats and everything, right? But now we have a new month. It's the spring. Spring has sprung. And guess what? If you looked out your window or if you went on a walk, you would see that some of those pretty pink trees are blooming and some of those nice white trees are blooming and the trees that are gonna get those little green leaves on them again, they started to get the little tiny buds and before you know it, all the leaves are gonna be back on the trees again and it's going to be summer. So, a lot has happened since we've left Peanuts. We've got the new season of spring and a new month, April. I was thinking that we should maybe read a story or maybe sing a song. I don't know, what do you think? I was thinking of maybe the bumblebee song. Should we do that? Remember how, you know, we catch the bumblebees and, you know, we squish them up and all of that? Do you remember that song? Are you ready? All right. All right, boys and girls, here we go. There goes the bumblebees. Everybody catch it. I got mine. I got mine. Do you have yours? Cool. Do you have your bumblebee? Do you have yours? Mwah. Ready? Oh, Tucker, you have your bumblebee? Here we go. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. 
Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Oh, what should we do? Mm, let's squish him up. Ready? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Coop, boys and girls, Tucker, he stung me. Uh, let's wipe him off. Ready? I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Now my mommy won't be mad at me. Good job, everybody. Good job. Now listen to me. If you want to hear a special story or a special song, tell mommy to write it on the Peanuts page and I will read that story to you. I think the next time we get together, excuse me, Tucker, I got to pull by his tail. I think the next time we get together, we are going to go on that dinosaur walk or the bear hunt or something like that. What do you think about that? We'll do the dinosaur walk because I brought some dinosaurs home from peanuts. So I think it'll be a great idea. Right, Tuck? Right, Coop? All right. Before I go and before I say goodbye, I just want to say I have to give a shout out to Colleen. Hi, Colleen. I heard it was your birthday. Happy birthday, Colleen. Just want to say when you get back to Peanuts, we're going to celebrate you. And anybody else's birthday that we missed, we're going to celebrate. And we'll have one big birthday party. And today is a special day, boys and girls, because guess what? It's my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. So we have a lot of earth, uh, excuse me, don't I usually do that when I mess up at circle time? So I do. We have a lot of birthdays that we're going to celebrate together. And anybody's that we missed, we're going to celebrate too. So until the next time, remember, stay safe, stay healthy. Be kind, do nice things, help your mommy at home, and see you soon. Kisses. I love you. I miss you. Big hugs. Bye-bye.